In this video we have a core cool beginners modern jive move for you. Now if you're doing this move at home, don't forget to check out the safety disclaimers that's found in the video description below. And this move is a double handed move, it's called the octopus and it looks like this. So the octopus is a double-handed move. So guys or leaders, you're going to offer your left hand to your partner to start the lead off. And we're going to start in nice and close with the hands down at waist level with your follower just draping their fingers over the top. So from here, I'm going to lead Lucy into a step back by pushing with the back of my hand into the heel of a palm. And as we step back, you're going to offer your spare hand to your partner. Try not to go so far back that you stretch your arms out. You still want to have the uh, arms nice and relaxed and slightly bent. It also doesn't matter what foot you step back on. Now from here we're going to change places a couple of times. So we're going to do this by lowering our right hand and raising our left. And then we're going to take our left in front of our right to turn our partners. Now before we do this, don't hold too tight, so don't have too much of a grip there because if you hold on too tight, what you're going to do is you're going to twist your wrists around each other which is uh, pretty uncomfortable. So you just want to keep the fingers nice and loose. So we lower the right hand, we raise the left, we take the left in front of the face. We both step in as you turn your partner in front of you, so Lucy's directly in front of me, left hand over her head, right hand's on her hip. Now as I let go of her right hand, or I let go of my right hand, I slide my hand across her back, we both continue to change sides, and we re-offer catching double hand hold. Again, we're not overstretching, we're still keeping the, a little bit of a slight bend in the arms. Now this time I'm going to step in front of Lucy, so as we change places I go in front this time, so I lower the left and I raise my right this time. Keep the fingers nice and loose, remember as you take the, thing, take the hand in front of the face, you step in front of your partner, so I'm directly in front of Lucy, right hand over the head. As I let go of my left hand that's down by my waist, Lucy slides her hand across my back as we continue to change places and we end up double hand hold once again. From here, we're just going to finish how we started. So I'm going to lower my right, I'm going to raise my left, I'm going to take my left over the right as we both step in. And as I let go of my right hand, we just continue to change places, but we step back single hand hold at the end. Now, before we put that octopus to account, we're going to have a look at some areas that it may go wrong. So as Karen mentioned in the first part, we do need to keep a very loose grip and that's followers as well. Sometimes followers hold on tightly and it makes it really hard for the partner to maneuver you throughout the move. What happens is you, if you hold on too tightly, you bring your partner in and the hands cross and then the follow tends to think, oh, that can't be right. I've obviously turned the wrong way. And then they kind of end up turning to here, which is not part of the move. So to start with, from both the lead and the follows, a nice relaxed grip. The second point is when we go into the count in a moment, what you need to do is make sure we both step in and we both step away, stepping in, stepping away. What tends to happen sometimes is the leaders stay on the spot and they just send their partners around their body with hardly moving themselves. So you do need to make sure that you do step away from the move and in. Not too far that you stick your bum out and overstretch your arms like we mentioned earlier on, but just enough to keep the arms slightly bent. Now the last thing we're going to look at is trying to move within the move. And what I mean is at the moment, while we're teaching it, we're blocking it through. We're stepping away and stopping. We're coming in and stopping, stepping away, coming in and stepping away. Now if this is what's going on while you're learning the octopus, that's absolutely fine, no problems at all. But what we're aiming to do is to not stop. So once we go straight across and back, straight across and back, straight across in and back. So block it through while you're learning it and then as you get more experience, try and keep it going and it makes the move nice and fluid. So as we speed the octopus up, it looks like this. We step back, turn your partners under and back, turn yourselves under and back, turn your partners under and back.